Hi everyone, welcome to the job video lecture series. So in today's video, I we will learn more about the string. So let's get started. First of all, make a new class and just follow my tutorial. So let's start. In Java, string is basically an object that represents sequence of character word. Okay, so you can say that string is just a array of character character array or sequence of character so you can define like cal ch is equal to a b c you can put any val values here it is same as we will learn the most basic one is string s is equal to a b c okay Whenever we try to print the both one, okay, let's try this. Ch and S. Save it. Run. You can see that both gives the same output. Means you can either be clear or initialize string like this or this. So in this video, we will learn more about how to initialize strings. There are mainly two methods for initializing a string. The first one you have seen it. It is called a string literals. So it is created by you have to give the string a strings modifier name that is already called string. With uh, you have to main focus on strings first letter that is S starts from capital letter. Okay, you have to give its string name, and and in the dual code you have to provide that value. Okay, make a new string. String s is equal to welcome. Okay, save it and just change it. S is equal to to Java. And what will you get if you want if you change it? Print s, save it, run it. You will see to Java. It has been changed, but how it is happening inside Java is like this one. Let's try to understand this. Okay. Consider this is an heap area. Okay. Whenever you declare any string s, okay, then it is stored into a pool called a string pool area. String pool area, okay. I call it s p a. So whenever you define s is equal to Welcome. It is here, and whenever you initialize or update the value of s, it is stored into this one only to Java. Okay. And when you are calling the value s, it is just it was pointing to first welcome, but as you update it, this string is now pointing to the to java which is stored in single string pool area okay so how it is actually done so this time when you create a string literals jvm checks the string constant pool and if the string already exist in the pool a reference to the pool instance is returned if the string does not exist then a new string instance is created and place in the pool so whenever in the string literals the mainly it is stored into a string pool area or a string constant pool okay uh, and uh, the next or the new keyword is used to initialize or create a string because uh, a string is also a variable and you, i have already told you how to create a new variable so let's make a new variable let, let string so we have to give string string 
you have to give the strings name call it s1 is equal to new string and here you have to pass the value of the string for example we call it tutorial okay and when we will try to print s1 it will print tutorial okay so how it is done and uh, okay i have told you that a string is immutable it means you cannot modify it so how can we actually prove it so let's start and uh, try to modify it for example just try to modify on cat add something and let's put tutorial of java okay and just print try to print it as well then it should print like tutorial of java but when you print you only get tutorial because a string is immutable you cannot modify it and if you want to modify it you can do it like that s1 is equal to s1 dot on cat and then if you provide of java then you can successfully modify it even though it is not okay i have not printed the value of s1 sorry s1 so now try to print it you can see that tutorial of java so you cannot directly modify the string literals because it is immutable if you want to do it assign it into the new variable which is already itself and whenever you call or make a string using new keyword it is directly make space into the heap area for example as you created a uh, new string s1 is a new keyword it is not stored in the a string constant pool or a string pool area it is stored in the heap memory okay so what is the, let's recap quick recap uh, a string can be created by two ways by using a string literals both syntax are like string string name is equal to provide the value into the double quote semicolon okay and using the new key, new keyword like string string name is equal to new string and pass the value of the string into the doll code in the as a parameter okay a string is immutable you cannot directly modify it although it will not give any any error so if you want to modify it assign its value to the same string name and print it you will easily do that okay so Thank you for watching this video in the next video i will tell you more about uh, a string like how to compare strings uh, and all so bye bye take care thank you for watching